Now lately I've really been wanting to be able to measure electric current, especially for some of the videos I've been doing on my main channel. And that's where something like this or that comes in. A clamp meter, a digital clamp meter. Now I've never actually used a clamp meter before, but apparently that's what you want to use if you want to just measure the current of something without actually touching it. Looking online, it looks like they come in 600 amp and 1000 amp and they're pretty expensive for the 1000 amp ones from $200 to $700. And then I saw this Viva one online, which was like actually a really reasonable price. And I actually reached out to them and said, is it all right if I try it out? And they said, yes. And I thought, cool, I'll make a video as well. Just trying it out on some stuff to see what we can measure. Now they haven't sponsored this, but they have sent it out to me free of charge. So I can give it a go in a video. So yeah, let's have a crack at it. See what we can do. So straight out of the box, you get a bag. So there's like an unboxing, except it's an unbagging. So it looks like you get some probes with it. So this will probably do some multimeter tasks, I'm guessing. And what is this? Temperature, temperature probe as well. Cool, AC, DC clamp meter. It comes with batteries. So let's crack them open. Fire up batteries in. Oh, we're gonna be clamping. We're gonna be clamping and metering. All right, now just going through the settings, you've got press and hold that to turn it on. Then it just starts off in auto. So auto is for everything when the leads are plugged in. So that's, it can do current, voltage, a resistance. Then if you press that again, I've got diode test. This is the clamping current test here. Capacitor test. Temperature, degrees Celsius. Temperature Fahrenheit. And then it goes back through to auto. Well, I've got a light here to film this. So I'm gonna just, let's grab the cable. So we've got ourselves a cable. Clamp it in. All right, I think I've worked out what I'm doing wrong. I mean, it should be pretty obvious, but yeah, there's more, the, both conductors are in this. So yeah, you need to, you need to have like the individual conductor going through there to be able to measure it. All right, well, we can give that a go. Okay, press the trigger and clamp the jaws around one conductor to be tested. One, it says one right there. Okay, here's an interesting point. After you turn on the meter, wait about five to 10 minutes to allow the meter to warm up before you start current measurement. This is necessary to allow for accurate measurements. Okay, something I've stumbled upon is this function here where you press and hold this and it's non-contact voltage. So it just detects the presence of AC voltage, which would be handy if you've got wires in a wall or something. But as you get closer, it shows a little bar graph of how strong it is. Boom, AC voltage right there. I'm gonna test that on the wall. All right, here's a wall I prepared earlier. The light switch there. So that's actually, that's pretty sensitive. Cool, that's handy. I thought we should try it out in the shed. See how it goes on a few different things. I've got this backup battery charging in the shed. I've um, got solar here, but I can access these conductors. So we'll give that a go. And by access them, I mean they're both separate so I can get the clamp around each one of them. So this is DC off a big solar panel, which is, which should be, it's meant to be 400 watts, but you know, you don't, you don't normally get the full power out of them, but we'll see what it's doing at the moment. This will actually be a good test. So the solar panel is putting in 344 watts at the moment. So we can see how accurate that is, I guess. So we turn this guy on. I've let it warm up for a couple of minutes. Now, if we go to our cable, it's clamping time. So the cool thing these can also do, which I didn't know, is it'll tell you the polarity as well, depending on which way the cable's going through here. So, so the top is positive and the back is negative. So grab one of our cables, clamp it on, and we are getting about 9.8 amps. Now if we put that the other way, it should say negative. Let's try the other one. Yeah, so negative 10 amps. Oh, it's up to 10 now. Negative 10, switch it the other way, and uh, positive. But then to work out what that is in watts, we can check what the voltage is as well. So we'll chuck our leads in, and we should be able to be able to check it. All right, that's a better way to measure the voltage because I unplugged it, so the voltage was different with it actually plugged in. 
that is what it's actually getting. So 32 volts and we had uh, 9.8 amps. So 9.8 times the 32 volts, 313 watts. Well, 348 watts. So that's pretty close. Which one is more accurate though? I don't know. All right, let's test AC current. Got the clamp meter. Gonna put it over one of the conductors. I've got the heat gun. I thought that would give us something decent to measure. Okay, so that's switched off. All right, I'll plug it in. There we go, yeah, four amps. That works good. Now, this should be an interesting test. I'll give the welder a go. See how many amps are going through it. I'll just give it a quick burst though. Three, two, one. Eighty, ninety amps. I'll turn it up a bit. One more test. One hundred twenty. One hundred twenty amps. There you go. That works pretty good. That was a quick response that it gave as well, which is handy. Now just a quick test plugging into a wall socket, and we have two hundred forty-nine volts. And if we press this, it should say the frequency. Yeah, fifty hertz. That works all right. Now, a week later, overall, I'm really happy with this unit. I've had some more practical use with it around the shed. The auto ranging feature is great, especially after using one that you have to set manually for over a decade. And obviously the clamping current measurement is something that's been missing from my life. It's so much quicker to use. This would be great for working on the car and mucking around with solar panels and stuff. I probably wouldn't need to use the AC current measurement much though, just as unless you're an electrician, you don't often have access to a single AC conductor to clamp onto. The only improvement I reckon they could make might be to supply it with some slightly nicer test leads. The ones with my old multimeter are a fair bit softer and more flexible. It'd also be cool if it came with some screw on alligator clamps too, just because I seem to use them a lot. But all round, it's good stuff. I've already been using it for my next YouTube video on my main channel. But I hope this video might have been helpful to someone and I'll catch you next time.